All right, good morning, everyone. Today, we are gonna get our plot screen in. Uh, last video I showed you, we cut this clover back here. Looks really, really good. Um, and then we sprayed all around the edge of this food plot to get ready to put our plot screen in. Um, and I'm gonna show you the tools that we're using. Not much. It's gonna be a long day, but I'm excited to get this in, so stay tuned. All right, first, here's what we're using. We've got 150 miscanthus rhizomes. I've had these for about two weeks. Uh, they stayed nice and moist. I just put them in a bucket in my basement with a wet paper towel, and you can see some of them are already even starting to grow a little bit here. So we've got those. We've got a Northwoods plot screen. And then here's what we're using to put it in. If you guys have watched some of my other videos, you know I can't get much equipment back here in my swamp. It's too wet to drive tractors or four-wheelers. I can get a little rototiller back here, but last year when I tried tilling this stuff up, um, you know, underneath, it's really dry right now back here, but normally this stuff is really, really wet and heavy, and I actually broke my little rototiller because it just kept getting clogged up. Um, I pretty much just burned it up. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to rake a lot of this dead stuff back, and we're just going to get the ground just loose a little bit with this hand rototiller. Um, or this little hand tiller and we're going to go all around the edge of our food plot so this is going to take a while and i'm probably going to be beat as hell by the time we're done but i want to get some better soil depth on that plot screen because last year i did not do a very good job and it just came in kind of thin we're going to get started because we got a lot of work to do All right, guys, we got everything hand tilled. I'm exhausted. That took me about three hours. Got some nice, uh, nice blisters on my hands, but that thing did really well. Um, like here's a good example. I mean, this this seed bed looks a lot better than what I what I planted into last year. So I'm confident that that Northwoods plot screen is going to do a lot better this year, just because I should be able to get. A solid one inch of soil depth um you guys were awesome on some of your facebook comments where i posted this video or my first video on a couple of groups um basically saying don't mix you know the miscanthus and the plot screen kind of all together the plot screen's probably going to come up quick shade out the miscanthus and then i'm just wasting time and money so if we stand here we're at the north end of my food plot facing south Got the canopy opened up nice uh, last year, so I, I do get a lot of sun in here. And what we're gonna try to do is basically make sure both the miscanthus and the plot screen get sun. So for example, on the south end of my plot, I'm probably only gonna plant one or the other. So I've got a couple spots that are gonna be just plot screen, a couple spots that are just gonna be miscanthus. So the plot screen isn't shading out the miscanthus. On this end, this is my west end. And then my east end, sorry, west end, east end. Um, we're gonna plant the miscanthus right in the front, right up tight, kind of along the clover, and then not a ton of plot screen, almost like a row, um, right back behind it. So I don't need a ton of uh, screening, just a little bit. I mean, last year I didn't have a ton that grew up but just the little bit of edge and screening that it provided it really helped my plot so with the miscanthus in the front and the plot screen in the back when that plot screen grows up taller than the miscanthus and the south um you know the sun moving east to west here in the south this miscanthus should still get plenty of sunlight that's kind of my game plan is if i can get sun on both of them and have the plot screen grow up behind the miscanthus uh, that's what I want to do here on my north end. That should be super easy. I can do miscanthus here in the front, plot screen here in the back. As the plot screen starts getting taller, um, it's not going to shade out my miscanthus.
All right, guys, now we're going around using my cult packer. Just want to make sure I don't see red. If I can cover up the seeds enough, which tilling definitely helps, then, um, then I think I'll be good because I definitely got these down deeper than I thought. This area right here, I didn't till up, I just broadcast. I had quite a bit of extra here. So I just want to see if just broadcasting it, no tilling, and just packing it down a little bit, see if a few grow. This is a pretty wet spot, but we're done. We are all done. So we got the miscanthus in right along kind of the edge of the clover. Some spots have the uh, plot screen back behind it. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We are all done. The Northwoods plot screen's in, the miscanthus is in. All in all, it took about four and a half hours. Uh, not too bad, but I am freaking tired. Uh, but I think that little hand tiller, um, I definitely think that helped. I definitely got better seed to soil contact. I could tell with just me walking across it, pushing the seeds into the ground um, with it being looser. I got pretty much all of them covered this time. Last year I didn't, so we'll see how it does. I gotta come back on Friday and fertilize. Today's Wednesday. Uh, but there won't be much of an update there, obviously. But I will definitely keep you guys posted on how both the Miscanthus and the Plot Screen does using nothing but hand tools. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, be a sportsman, make a sportsman.